previously. So can you believe it? After all the massage, jacuzzi, food, and I slept overnight, and I spent like less than 70 US dollar um, to stay here in Shenzhen. Before we go back to Hong Kong, let me bring you to a restaurant, to Yum Cha. Yum Cha is a tradition of a Cantonese people. Usually the old folks or the family will like to gather together um, during the weekend to have brunch. Please pay attention here, they are having brunch instead of breakfast. And this is definitely part of their culture. So this is the map and currently we're gonna take this blue line and currently we are here. So we're gonna take one, two, three, four um, stops to here. Huaxin, that is where the restaurant is located. Okay, let's go. arrive at Huaxin station and now we are going to the restaurant. If I remember it correctly, um, it should be around the corner somewhere um, here. The restaurant that we are going today is called Phoenix Tower. The Phoenix in Chinese culture is, uh, is a lucky bird. It's something very good. But getting a Chinese name is also very important. There are nine tables in front of me. Yum cha, which means drink tea in Cantonese, is a traditional culinary culture in China Guangdong province. It is a popular way for people to enjoy a leisurely meal with friends and family, particularly on weekends. It is not just a meal, but a cultural experience that has been passed down through generations. Chen Pi, Chen Pi. So if you are like a, a business traveler in Shenzhen, uh, this is definitely something you can consider to uh, buy some as a gift for your friends. Uh, in Chinese medicine, Chen Pi is believed to have a warming effect on the body, which can help to promote digestion and relieve symptoms such as bloating, nausea, and vomiting. It is also believed to have a beneficial effect on the lungs, helping to relieve coughs and improve respiratory function. Chin pea price varies due to its origin and quality. Aged chin pea for more than 20 years can reach nearly 4,000 US dollars per kilogram. So the price for this thing is 1,680 RMB per kilo per 500 gram. Besides aged chin pea, they also have other cherished Chinese goodies, such as dried abalone, cordyceps sinensis, bird nests, and dried oyster. This restaurant is really popular. I finally made it into this top-rated restaurant and they saved me a spot at a big table in the center of the hall. It took about 45 minutes to get it, but it was definitely worth the wait. Before you taking the seat, the waitress will ask you to select tea. Usually I choose buckwheat tea or poor. When dining out for yum cha, you'll notice two sets of chopsticks on the table. The inner pair is reserved for your personal use, while the outer set, known as serving chopsticks, is used for picking up food from shared dishes. I have this whole table belong to myself, and I'm the only people sitting here, you know, I enjoy the big table um, myself. Here comes our first dish, the soup. But it looks good, so um, give it a try. Which is very fresh. 
The crowd is bustling with excitement. To ensure you can hear the introduction, I will use narration. In Chinese culture, soup is traditionally served as the first course. This is because we believe that consuming soup before anything else helps to warm up the stomach and allows for easier absorption of the nutrition. Instead of eating the meat in the soup, which becomes dry and hard after hours of boiling, we consume the rich, savory broth that's infused the essence of meat and herbs. And this is the spring roll. Um, you know, it's very long. It's different from our traditional short version of spring roll. And you're supposed to uh, use this spring roll to dip into this sauce. It tastes a bit like a sweet. Uh, let's give it a try. The third dish I have is chicken feet. Chinese people love this dish for its collagen and tasty flavor. Chicken feet are simmered in flavory sauce until the skin is tender and the sauce has been absorbed. The sauce used includes soy sauce, black bean sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, and sometimes chili paste or other spices for added flavor. After finishing the meal, let's drink some tea for good digestion. Oh, forgot to introduce the phoenix. This is how it looks like. Hey guys, so I have just finished my lunch and I spent around um, 150 RMB, which is around 25 US. Uh, for the lunch, I ordered like four dishes, one soup and uh, three other dishes, uh, plus the tea, and that is the price they charge. After this day tour in Dongmen and a good massage and good food, now I'm going back to Hong Kong. So next time, if you have the chance to come and visit Shenzhen, these are the activities and places you can visit. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Okay, that's all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. See you next time. Bye-bye.